This video explains the process to implement between Mati Lo and HP Unified Functional Testing Software to improve the testing activity efficiency. The approach developed in this page consists to reuse the instructions defined in generic sections designed in the Unified Functional Testing Software for the application to test. Be careful on the fact that no test object can be created in Mati Lo, only the calling step and new stimulation or verification data and the order can be modified to generate a new MTS file. The first step is to create all of the necessary instructions in new FT to create a test model in Modilo. To perform this, the best way is to define a new action and record all the operations feasible in the application to test. You must click or select all the test object available in the application tested to record all the instructions in the MTS file. These instructions will be imported in Mati Lo and reused to define a new test case. You can also define checkpoint instructions according to your needs.
Once all the instructions or checkpoint are defined, you have an action file that summarize all the steps usable in Matiolo. Save your project in the repository expected. In Mati Lo, open your project and select the test model to automate. Select File then Import. A new window occurs, select in the test platform. Either Unified Functional Testing MTS script to import the instructions defined from an action file, or Unified Functional Testing QFL script, to import Visual Basic function defined by the UFT functions library. Select the MTS file from your test repository created previously and click on Open. A new window occurs in which the instructions appears managed by test objects. You can select the instructions and the functions to import in the MateLow library. Select it and then click on Finish. The instructions are imported into the Sheet Test Platform MateLow library and defined as functions. To visualize or modify the content of these scripts, select the function, right-click on it and then choose Edit Script. If your test script functions use variables that must be instantiated in the test cases, you need to define them as parameters. To do that, you can use the dollar character as a prefix followed by the name of the parameter concerned in your test script functions. In the library of the test platform tab select the function concerned. Right-click on it and choose New Parameter. A new field appears under the name of the function. Rename it if necessary to fit the name used previously in the Addition field. This parameter appears in red in the Addition field, which means that you just defined a keyword for your function. In your test model, when associating a test script function to a transition, and this parameter to a variable of the model, MATILO can generate your test script functions by instantiating these parameters with the default values used in the test model during the execution of one of the test algorithms. Keep in mind that these functions will be used by MATILO to create test scripts so that your system under test accordingly to the simulation environment. Mapping these functions with test model by selecting the corresponding transition on which you want to model the operation. Select the transition, it appears in orange, click on Test Platform. By a drag and drop, associate the functions from the library to the test operation scheduling windows. For each function associated, specify the value to map with the parameter function. The value from can be an input used in the transition or you can also specify the value to use manually by selecting value. The parameter specified will be replaced during the test case generation to create new test case with new value or order. When all the functions are mapped, you can switch to the test case generation. To create the test cases from the model, select the generation window with the help of the button on the top left. Select the default strategy or create your own strategy. Select the substates of the model you want to parse or include in the generation. Select the appropriate algorithm to fit your test strategy. Click on the Generate button. The test cases appear in the main window of the generation perspective. You can modify the type of display by double-clicking on a test case and then by selecting the type of display. In this example, the display chosen is HTML. To associate a test case or several to your project, right-click on it and select Add to Project. In the test report, the information that are displayed under the stimulations sidebar match the inputs. You can actually see its name and value. The information that appear under the verification sidebar match the outputs. You can see the name and value of it as well. The information that appear under the requirements sidebar match the requirements associated to the transition of the test created. The numerical values in the test report will be the one used to instantiate the test script function parameters defined in the MATILO library.
accordingly to the association of the parameters done on the transitions. The test report summarizes the stimulation and verification actions done in the test model, as well as the values affected or computed by the algorithms. To generate the test scripts along with the exact same test cases generated, select File in the menu, choose Export, and then click on Export Test Cases to Script. Select the test cases to export as a test script as well as the location of the file to be exported. Click on Finish and the test scripts will be exported. You can choose the extension of the test script to be generated under the tab of the test configuration. By default, the extension is MTS type. The test script generated matches the different functions associated to the transitions, accordingly with the order and instantiation done in the HTML test plan previously seen. The generic parameters of the functions have been replaced by the numerical values or string contained in the test plan. To use the test script generated by Mati Low in Unified Functional Testing Software, creating a new action for your test then open the test script as a common file and finally copying the content into the new action. Don't forget to share the object repository with the new action as done in the video. Save and play the new test. The next part of the video shows the execution of the test scripts under this programming environment.